Hey, it's Danny from Codgers Cutter 6. So today I'm making a response video to Austin from Raw Bliss. Some of you may know of him, some of you may not. I'll explain who he is in a brief moment in case you don't. The video I'm going to be responding to is what I ate for $19 today. Finally, fruit season. So if you don't know who he is, he's a very skinny, weak, frail looking fruitarium that, yeah, just seems to be wasting away. And this is not a hate video, I don't hate him at all. We actually talk to each other online. He's been aware of who I am for quite some time. He used to follow a fruitarian diet, and I used to be very skinny, weak, and frail like him. And guess what? I actually requested this video, and if you listen to the end, he said thank you to me for requesting this video. So thank you, Raw Bliss, for making this video. I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't already seen the first video I made on him, this one here, I would highly recommend that you check it out. There'd be a link for it up above. And I also did one recently with him doing push-ups, which you can search up on my channel where he's doing push-ups in the worst way possible, where he looks like he's gonna break in half, which is not good at all. So let's watch this video together and I'll respond when I feel it's necessary to do so. Hello everyone, this is Austin from Robless. And if you haven't noticed, every time that I listen to this person, Austin from Raw Bliss, he sounds like he's all congested around this area. So his voice sounds like he's got a cold or something, which isn't a good sign at all. Uh, starting off the day, it's about six o'clock in the morning. You can see a uh, time right there. And I got myself some dragon fruits I'm about to cut up. So this fruit is a really sweet tasting fruit. I've ate it a lot here in Thailand. So it gives you quite a few calories, but he is already very, very thin. So to be honest, if he wants to bulk up, which means you eat a calorie surplus to gain weight, which that is what he's trying to do at the moment from what I am aware of. He started doing some calisthenics and he does want to build the body up. You need to be eating loads and loads and loads and loads of these. Three of these, or I think it might have even been four, it's just not gonna cut it. You need probably like six, seven, or eight, and then it could help build up your body more efficiently. But this amount is just like under eating, so it's not really gonna meet his calorie needs to build the body up. And yeah, this fruit is super tasty. I will admit that. Ooh, these are really good. It's like if you took a, a kiwi and made it more sweet and then added like an earthiness, like a beet. But I'm not going to be talking much in this video. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm eating today. So I'll see you in my next video. Oh my god. Wow, it's really sweet. This fruit is an amazing fruit. It's quite watery and it does have a sour taste to it. I actually really like this fruit as well. But both these fruits are very high in water content and they're not going to give you so many calories in abundance. And they're very low in fat and very low in protein. You need an optimal amount of protein, which he has been lacking for so long to give you optimal nitrogen balance, which is key for maximizing muscle growth after you've done some correct, consistent training to actually grow your muscles. Mm. Usually it tastes like super, like citrusy, like a lime. Yeah. Oh my God. This one tastes like, well, it's so juicy. And that's what I want to make you aware of. You can build up your body with fruit, but the amount of fruit you need to eat is like kilos and kilos and kilos and kilos of it, which he is not doing whatsoever from what I've seen in any of his what he eats in a day videos.
I'm gonna cut it like this this time. That's pretty cool. Wow, this is one of the best sour stuff. Maybe because it's tree ripened or something. Yeah, instead, if you had a steak that size, oh my god, it would give you insane amounts of calories and loads of fat, which helps optimize your hormone production and loads of protein as well. So it's really going to build up his body way, way easier. And you wouldn't have to eat nowhere near as much as food as compared to if you tried eating the equivalent of what you could get in a steak that size in comparison to fruit such as this sour sop. No matter how much sour sop you eat, you're going to get nowhere near as much protein or fat. And the amount of sour sop you need to eat to get so many calories, you're just not going to be able to do it. Extremely ancient, powerful, powerful fruit. This kind of reminds me of my childhood, like the, um, you know that Yo Play yogurt, the, um, what is it? It was like this in Vietnam too, it's like, it's a lot sweeter than it is sour. compared to typical sour sops. Key lime, key lime pie, uh, like yo play yogurt. And this is why he's ended up so skinny because he does so much fasting, like multiple day fast for days and days and days in a row. And then he's not eating a calorie surplus, he's in a calorie deficit. So then his body has used up all his fat and all of his muscle and what he's gonna be doing now because he's in starvation mode, his body will actually be eating up his organs. So then he's not gonna function optimally within his mind and body and it's just gonna keep making him deteriorate. And the longer he does this, he could do some irreversible damage, which is not good at all. But yeah, you get brainwashed on this diet. But it's like way better. I swear, all the processed foods are like trying to mimic fruits. No, they're not. Many of them aren't trying to mimic fruits at all. That's complete misinformation. And yeah, this is just someone that has been massively programmed by evangelistic, dogmatic, idealistic raw food teachers out there that don't look healthy. And then people wonder why people like him get the results because they listen to people that don't really know much about healthy nutrition whatsoever. And like these complex flavors that Nature perfected. Well, to be honest, a lot of fruits in today's world have been created by us humans. They are massively hybridized. A lot of them have been bred in a way to get rid of seeds and maximize the yield so they're as big as possible and so they have the most sugar as they possibly can. So it's a Frankenstein fruits out there like crazy. You just wouldn't find these in our natural habitat. And this is why a lot of people get issues with fruits because they haven't been designed by nature, they've been designed by man, at least a lot of the ones that are sold out there in today's world. Yeah, this is an amazing fruit. Mm. I've seen wild ones of these and they're so much smaller. You don't see them nowhere near as big as the one he's got. And a great example is in this image. Look how bananas used to be before we hybridized them, full of inedible seeds. And then the next image I'm gonna be showing you is avocados. Look how big the seed is, look how little amount of fruit is on it. But then we messed with it and created things such as these bananas with no seeds in that have so much sugar that's naturally found within it. And then avocados like this that are massive with the seeds where they're way smaller and so much more flesh. So these companies can maximize the profits that they get from selling these fruits that they've hybridized. So it's about 10.30 now. Um, working a shift at the hostel today. Here until about two, well, two three legally. PM because my last check-in's at two. So I might get to leave early. Yeah, you need to work hard to be working. Yeah. 
see what I can score there. Maybe some durian. Who knows? I think one of the reasons why he massively undereats is because he saved up money from a job for a very long time from the research that I did on this specific subject. So I know he doesn't have loads and loads of money. He doesn't have loads of income. So what is most people going to do in that situation? They're not going to eat loads and loads of food and they're going to do this type of starvation diet. I'll see you guys soon. That was such a satisfying meal. Uh, so yeah, I forgot to tell you guys the prices. So for the dragon fruit, that cost me about $4. For those three pieces, it was uh, 1.7 kilos. And then the sour stuff was also 1.7 kilos and that cost $2. All right, so here's what they look like on the inside. It's kind of like a jam, like jelly-like texture. And yeah, these are the peelings. Not the easiest thing to peel. They're like, cut up your fingers because they got splinters in these them. Thank fruit is a very sour fruit, but the seeds are quite big and you don't get that much flesh. So you're hardly getting any calories whatsoever. And he seems to be eating so many times within the day because he's not eating enough calories within one city and he's eating things that are very high in water content that don't keep you satiated for long. That's what I found on a fruitarian diet. I just kept wanting to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. It just gets out of control because it's not giving you exactly what you need. It's like a sweet, sour, like apricot peach jam. This is meal number three. I noticed with these, these wild fruits in Borneo, they have like defenses, you know, they have like thorns, splinters, or, you know, like durian. I think that shows that they're highly evolved um, beyond the other fruits. And I definitely no, notice a higher energy, a higher vibration when consuming these fruits. Well, not necessarily higher energy or higher vibration. It's just like when you're getting jungle fruits that have been left to grow naturally, guess what? Their nutrient density is going to just be way, way higher than mono crops that have been bred by humans and messed around with so much and sprayed with so many pesticides. So it's just giving you way, way, way more nutrition with specific vitamins and other micronutrients but even if it's growing in a natural environment it's still lacking like enough protein and fat to, to actually give you the best results you're trying to get with building and up your I body. definitely feel in my heart that these fruits played a role in our evolution well that is debatable from a lot of the archaeological findings and scientific research that I've looked into we have been cooking food for around two million years years and from what i have seen when looking into that they reckon that based on their findings that we started to evolve unlike all other animals because we started cooking our food which makes a lot of sense to me but so many of these fruitarians reckon that the fruit made us evolve but to be honest it looks like the fruit is making him de-evolve and making his body almost disappear into the so, abyss just wanted to share that with you guys Such complex flavors from the jungle. Having myself a little noni fruit. Oh, this fruit, it tastes like blue cheese. If you love blue cheese, then it's really good, but almost no one likes this whatsoever. There's, this is now meal number four. Again, it's not really giving it anything that it really needs. Forged this a couple days ago. Free fruit to be oh, like right, to be honest. Right here at the little uh, cafe. I got some uh, sugar cane juice. You see his eyes, he looks like someone that's just taken a substance that just changes your whole state, which this is just pretty much pure sugar that he is drinking. But what he said in some videos, he's getting a sugar rush and that's why it feels so amazing. But it's just an addictive drink that is just giving you a stimulating effect due to the amount of naturally occurring sugar that is concentrated in it. It is so fresh. Listen. Sugarcane juice is actually a grass. 
It has similar benefits uh, like wheatgrass. Uh, well, wheatgrass actually has a low glycemic index and low glycemic lows, so it doesn't actually raise your blood sugar levels, unlike this sugarcane juice. And surprisingly, good for diabetics. <laughs> That's a joke! Seriously, what? Where are you getting that from? And your teeth. Oh, and I'd find normally after drinking sugarcane juice that it would make my gums throb and it actually had a negative effect on my teeth, so I don't agree with that as well. And it's good for the skin. Clears acne. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. Uh, pretty good stuff. And that stuff is like something that people would smoke that makes them just go like really like it's just it's a very, very addictive substance. And I've seen people drink liters and liters of that a day that on these fruit-based diet because they just want this energy source that isn't a real energy source within them. It's just like having coffee, but in not such a stimulating way as coffee. Oh, they have barag. Uh, Tarap, yeah. Oh yeah, this smells so good. Got some. Durian. Lots of durian. The king uh -oh. of fruits. Jackfruit. Pineapple. Oh, the durian smells so good. Wow. I bet it does. If you don't know about durian, it is one of the most highly prized fruits in Asia. I have eaten so much of this, I used to just go absolutely crazy with this. When I used to eat a fruit-based diet, and when I also used to eat a vegan diet as well. Oh yeah. This one is very good to eat. Wow. So this is quite a high fat fruit and quite high carb at the same time. So finally he's getting some essential fatty acids to maybe feed his brain so it starts functioning better and so his hormones start to be more optimal as well. But again it's very very low in protein. But this is an amazing fruit to actually increase your weight on. I used to eat thousands and thousands of calories of this a day, but let's see if he eats enough so he could actually gain some weight or not. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Wow, thank you. This one not this. See any? Yeah. Oh my God. This one very good. It's like a yeah. ice cream. bitter ice cream, yeah, yeah. Super creamy, super sweet. <laughs> like vanilla ice cream. Wow. <laughs> so this is number two. And this is like what, meal number six? It's like so many small meals throughout the day, which is not good for you at all. Blood sugar levels are going to be up and down day long, and then again, when they drop, you're going to feel like low in energy, and then you need more sugar, so then you eat more. Oh, that's so good. Durian number two. So just the yo-yo. Amazing, like sweet, bittersweet vanilla ice cream. I want to say is I have nothing against like high quality fruits that are fully ripened, but I think it should be part of a whole foods diet, not just exclusively plant foods. I think you should be eating meat, fish, eggs, and so on. Don't eat them together because it causes digestive issues. But they do supply people with a lot of amazing nutrients. But just to eat exclusively is not good for you, as I found out years ago. And what many fruitarians have discovered that I know that have failed on this diet and deteriorated, that have said, oh man, I'm not doing this anymore. They've woke up and realized that it's not good for them any longer. So I spent like 40 ringgit on a really big durian and like a medium sized durian. It wasn't a very big durian at all, so he's just only eating two durians. When I used to eat durian, I would probably eat like 10 or more of these in one sitting. So again, he's just calorie restricting over and over and over again. It's like, no wonder why you're wasting away. You haven't got enough calories to just maintain a healthy body fat percentage and muscle mass. You seriously need to up your game with eating, man. But he's obviously just used to not eating a lot. He's got orthorexia. So that's going to be it for today's video. Shout out to Danny Glass for requesting this. You're welcome, brother. Um, he reached out to me. Uh, great guy. And yeah, he's a great guy as well. I don't have nothing against him personally. I just don't necessarily agree with what he's doing because I think what he's doing is really self 
sabotaging himself and I just don't like to watch him going downhill or anyone for that matter of fact. Give you some calisthenics tips. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. So that is it for this video. If you like the video, like it down below. Don't forget to share servers and don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like me to make more videos in response to Raw Bliss and any videos he makes, let me know down below and I'll make them for you as soon as possible. So as always, enjoy the rest of your day and catch you on the flip side. Peace.